Provo, in case you didn't know, has just won the Best Performing City Award again for the third time in a row, three years running. So the Milliken, it's called the Milken Institute, and it's a nonprofit organization. And they're the ones who figure out whether you get this award or not. How they evaluate the cities is that index measures the economic vitality in 200 large metropolitan areas and two and three small metropolitan areas by assessing the performance of the labor market, their tech sector, and access to economic opportunities. As in the previous year, the 2023 index emphasizes jobs, wages, high-tech growth, housing affordability, and household broadband access. That means having internet in your home. They have two tiers. The first tier is the large U.S. cities, and the second tier is the small U.S. cities. And Utah made three of these three of these awards. 2023, the large city awards, Provo was number one. Number two was in Austin. The mayor has a blog. Mayor Provo has her own blog, and she says here, that we beat out um, a lot of other cities. She goes, including Miami, Denver, Phoenix, Raleigh, and Austin. So Austin came in number two, and we beat out Austin. That's pretty cool. But not only that, this is what came into that award. And what are some of the strengths of Provo? First in five-year growth for jobs. First in five-year growth for wages. That's great, right? Access to economic opportunities. I would also say educational opportunities, but the award doesn't look for that. But we have BYU, UBU, and tons of other college and universities really close to here. High level of household access to broadband, vigorous and growing high-tech sector, definitely would have that with Silicon Slopes, established hub for tech startups, and rebounding leisure and hospitality sector. All of these are really good. And this is what the Milken Institute has said that they based it on. So Provo, of course, is super honored to get this award. Oh, I wanted to tell you, for the small cities, Logan made number two and St. George made number three. So that's really cool, too. So I, we all know people who live in St. George. And I know a lot of people who live in Logan. I love Logan. Beautiful city. But I just wanted to tell you, there's a few more accolades that Provo caught. And this is really cool. And these are just all really recent. So 2023, first we got the best performing city. Then we got the number one city in America with the most satisfied workers. That's really good. Number one city with the best job market. Number one most charitable city. Number one top mid-sized U.S. market for office tenants. Best places to live in U.S. 2023. Number two for top boom town in U.S. Number three for most neighborly city. Number six for best run city in America and number 11 for the best city for software developers to start a career. Those are for some pretty awesome Provo advantages to being here in Provo, living here in Provo, working here in Provo. So if you're looking to find a home or if you need help with finding a home to move into here and you're ready to buy a home in Provo that you need to move here, uh, Tristan and I would be more than happy to help you. All our contact information is in the description below. Thanks for watching.